Hello, and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. In today's episode, we'll be looking at, thank you, Richard, the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express, a microcontroller development board with all the bells and whistles you could possibly need for starting an exciting career in electronics. Before we jump into the intricate details of this thing, we first need to understand the difference between this and its earlier version, the Adafruit Circuit Playground Classic. On both of these boards, almost everything is absolutely identical, both having the same shape, IO, sensors, and LEDs. However, the Classic version, which we will not be covering in this video, was released back in 2015 and uses the older AT Mega 32U4 microcontroller, while the newer version, the Express, uses the AT SAM D21. Long story short, the Classic works with the Arduino IDE and Code.org, while the Express also supports CircuitPython and MakeCode. So, with all of that out of the way, the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express is a development board that combines an ATSAMD21 processor with a multitude of different sensors and I.O. Its circular shape makes it somewhat unique in the maker market, and its ability to be powered via USB and an external battery makes this useful for portable projects as well as classroom environments. By far, the most awesome feature of the board is that it contains a lot of stuff, and I mean a lot. With a whole array of sensors, NeoPixels, and I.O., you can do so much with this board just on its own. But then, the use of a circular design and large I.O. pads on the edge make it very easy to connect to other boards. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, these outside holes are designed to connect to banana plugs and alligator clips, which eliminates the need for soldering when used with external circuits. As such, this board is awesome because it contains everything you need, doesn't require a programmer, works with the Arduino IDE, MakeCode, and CircuitPython, and looks absolutely stunning. To start, at the heart of this board is the ATSAM-D2 ARM Cortex-M0 microcontroller, which is clocked at 48 MHz, has 256 kilobytes of program flash, 32 kilobytes of RAM, and is all powered by a single 3.3 volt power rail. While this may pale in comparison to modern microcontrollers using dual core configurations and more peripherals than I can count, its small size and low cost nature make it ideal for simple projects and controllers. I have a degree in electronic engineering and I still use my fingers to count. Don't ask me what comes after 10. Around the edge of the board, you will see 10 mini NeoPixels, each of which can display any color of the rainbow and are individually programmable. And a contact pad with a gigantic hole makes it easier to connect to alligator clips and banana connectors. But not only can these IO pads act as good old fashioned digital ports, they are also able to operate as capacitive touch pads. With regards to sensors, just about nothing gets past this board, thanks to the onboard temperature sensor, light sensor, sound sensor, and three axis accelerometer with tap and free fall detection. Finally, the onboard USB port not only allows for programming, but can also be used as a serial port, keyboard, mouse, joystick, or MIDI port. And an onboard buzzer lets you generate tones. When it comes to projects, one immediately comes to mind, a touch-enabled MIDI controller. Simply hook this board up to your PC as a MIDI controller, combine it with your favorite music workstation, personally that would be FL Studio for me, and you can build all kinds of interesting instruments. For example, the accelerometer could be used as a key velocity controller, while the light sensor can be used for creating gate controls. Another great use for the Adafruit Circuit Playground would be as a wearable device, thanks to the onboard battery connector and array of sensors. The small size of the board makes it very easy to embed into clothes and hats. While a strap would see this thing mounted on the chest, arm, or leg. The Adafruit Circuit Playground could also be used as a simple game machine, using the lights and onboard buttons as the interactive elements. For example, a memory game can be made where a specific flashing sequence of lights has to be copied via the capacitive touch inputs or a light wheel that spins and needs to be stopped at the right time. 
The Adafruit Circuit Playground is an extremely diverse and capable microcontroller board with plenty of sensors, inputs, and outputs to play with. With its compatibility with the Arduino IDE, MakeCode, CircuitPython, and simplicity of use, the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express is the perfect choice for those looking to get into microcontroller systems and electronics in general. If you want to get your hands on this pretty capable board and would like to support our work here at Electromaker, then head over to our online store at electromaker.io where you can find this board and all the other components you could possibly need. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.